All right. Hi, everyone. And welcome to um, the advanced how to become money workbook. Um, we just want to have a comp. Well, this is a, a chat of an intro about the class that we have coming up in six days. And I have three of our amazing, well, I guess four, because I'm one too. I have four of our amazing facilitators <laughs> present here. And um, we just wanted to talk a little bit about the book, about what we have coming up next week um, with Gary and Dane and Curry, who the three of them um, weren't here. Um, and we just wanted to talk about the magic of this book and what it has changed in our lives. I mean, I could probably write an, a couple of essays about all the different angles that has changed my life and just the ease of going from thinking about money all the time and it being this big issue and frustration and this thing that's always something that I'm coming up against to, oh, I don't really think about that much anymore. Whether I have it or I don't have it, it's just not something that I really think about. Um, it's something I like, it's something I enjoy, but it's like there's so much more space to create. And for me, that's one of, one of the thousands of things that the workbook has created. And so I just wanted to talk to um, some of the other facilitators about um, what this class is actually going to create for the people and what the book is for them. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so grateful. Um, so could you guys go through, um, just let everybody know who you are and a little bit about who you are as a facilitator? Lale, do you want to go first? Sure. Happy to start. So I'm Lale Hancock, and uh, I'm a Right Riches for You facilitator, um, Joy Business, Right Voice, Right Body, just a few different body of being you. <laughs> <laughs> just a few, just all of them. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited to be here. Um, there is some major magic with these workbooks, both of them, the how to become a money workbook, as well as the advanced money workbook. And it, the tools have just changed so much in my life, including the amount of income that comes in and revenue and money and cash but just so many areas of my life. And I'm just so excited to be here with you guys. Cool. Thank you, Lale. Um, Daria, do you want to go next? Sure. I'm Daria Hansen and a uh, facilitator for Access Consciousness as well as uh, Joy of Business and Red Witches for You. And um, funny enough, all of those areas are touching the subject of money. <laughs> yes. And that's the part that is absolutely fun to play with. And the tools that are in the advanced money book and the how to become money book are absolutely pragmatic while being totally weird and wacky and nothing that you would ever find in any how to have a million dollar inheritance or any kind of those kind of books. However, what I wanted to say about the difference with this book is that Every single time you read, every single time you hear somebody speak about the book and bring up the quotes from the book, something speaks through the words and through the lines and paragraphs in the book, and you hear it differently. And every time you receive it deeper at a different level and more opens up and hence more receiving, hence more money flows and streams. So that's been my experience with this book every single time, and I've read these books at least 20 times at this point, they change your world with every word. Here is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. Susanna? Hi. Yeah, my name is Susanna Mittermeier, and um, I actually never considered talking about money or doing money classes. Um, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm a psychologist, and... Um, also an access conscious facilitator, obviously, and doing uh, Be You and Right Voice for You, and recently also added uh, the Right Witches to my repertoire. Mm -hmm. And not like the thing is for me, money, I never really considered it as significant in my world. It's um, been something that's always been like the side effect of what I've been creating in the world. But what I learned from the Right Witches and from the, from the Money Workbook is. You know, the willingness to have 
even more money, you know, when you can have even positive judgments are, are a conclusion and limiting and even they're even more sneaky than the negative ones, you know? Um, so just saying I have money, um, is a conclusion and a judgment and keeps you from creating even more. And I realized with the advanced money workbook and the right riches classes in general is, you know, the, the willingness to celebrate money and the willingness to have money is such a, you know, it makes money be the fuel to create even more, you know, like when you have certain creations that you want to get out there in the world, let's say a web page, a book, um, any kind of project, you require money for this to be really big. It contributes to you. It facilitates you to have the phenomenal life. And, and that's something that I love about the right riches and the advanced workbook to, to have that different perspective. And just yesterday I talked with someone who has said, um, you guys talk so much about money and why is money so important for you? And uh, I realized what an extreme judgeable offense money is in our world. And the moment you up, open up to have more than maybe is normal, um, you become a judgeable offense on legs. Yes. <laughs> And, and many people are shying away from that. I'm like, oh my God, I'm too different. I'm too much. And, and people will judge me. And, and, um, and what if that is not a problem? What if it's not your problem? And what if this actually adds to your willingness to receive everything which expands your monetary reality as well? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I've been realizing that lately as I've been facilitating more and more classes on money. Um, I just go out and I say, I'm doing this class on money. And people are saying, like, I can just feel the energy of like, well, who are you and why? And how can you have money? And, and it's so funny because for me, it's like, well, this is just a fun topic. People have different areas that they're interested in. Some people like furniture. Some people are doctors. Some people perform surgery. I like to make money and teach people how to make money. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. But it's a job title. Make money maker, you know, professional money maker. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's a judgeable subtitle. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I, I, I sort of learned that after I went ahead and did it. Uh, it's like, oh, that's um, considered greedy or different or too much in this reality. So it's pretty funny. Um, and it's funny because we do talk a lot in Access about like judgments, right? Like Susanna said, the, the, what we consider the positive judgments are the sneaky ones, you know? Um, but it's like, it really is like when you are actually willing to have whatever it is that you desire, it could be money, what, it could be whatever it is that you desire, you're immediately stepping outside the box of everybody else's comfort zone. Totally. So the first place they want to go is to judge you and they want to get mad and frustrated and want to, you know, whatever they want to do. But that's actually when you're willing to receive that is just an interesting point of view is when you do expand your whole receiving of everything, including cash, mm -hmm. including money. And it really has been a fun one for me to step into actually, because I grew up with money, so money was never significant for me at all because it was just part of being. <laughs> it was part of our lifestyle. And then, you know, with just different things, the revolution and other things, like my family went through like stages of like money, no money, money, no money, money, no money. And it's been really interesting to see that no matter where we were ever in our lives, we always generated and created more. Mm. Always. And so I just love, I love the tools of access consciousness. I love the tools in these workbooks because they're there to remind us again, to really focus on possibilities and creation and not on the problem Absolutely. and ask what else is possible, you know, you know, Yay. <laughs> when you said that, it reminded me of something that, that Gary's always said. And it was like a, when I first heard him say it, it was like a non-reality. What he said was, um, I'm happy whether I have money or I don't have money. And I sort of up until that point thought that the tools and access were about 
always having money and always having ma major cash flow and they can be and they are but there's also this willingness to be happy regardless of how much is in your bank account at that time and i didn't like i didn't believe that that could actually be a possibility to be happy or not to worry about money when you have less cash flow than you normally do. And so that for me has been something that's been really cool to be able to have peace at all times, um, no matter what's going on. Yeah. It's like happiness comes always first and money follows. <laughs> right. I, I did not believe that. I was like, no. <laughs> Who does? I mean, how did we grow up? So that's really great. Yeah. But, you know, I love that. And I ask that question all the time because money is one of those things. It doesn't matter who you talk to. It doesn't matter how much they have at that moment in time. There's always this, I don't have enough money or I don't have money. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they have going on. And it's interesting. Like if you truly ask, like during the time when you were having a lot of fun, when you had a lot of joy in your life, when whatever, you were celebrating something, did you ever even quote, worry about money? Or did you not even think about it, but your actual enthusiasm, your joy and excitement and whatever it was you were celebrating drew in money from all around? And that's really a one I, I, I get to experience personally, but I get to see others too light up and they realize, wow, you're right. I don't know what happened, but there was like a point in their life where they turned it. And it became a problem instead of the possibility of just being there as changing realities and having a lot of fun. So this is going to be the challenge for you to really allow this area that is so difficult and considered so difficult yeah. in the rest of this world to be easy for you and to be willing to be so different that this is something that contributes to you. Money can contribute to you. So this is the invitation that this series will be for you. Absolutely. I'd just like to add to everything that these girls have mentioned, Lale and Julie and Suzanne, you have touched on the subject of whether let, letting people judge you for having or not having money and you being happy with, with having money or not having money. But the thing is that I've noticed that changed for me with this book is that I realized that the judgment that actually affects you is the only judgment that you have of yourself. So if you judge that you have money or you don't have money, you can't be happy. If you judge that others will judge you for having money or not having money, they will judge you. So the book for me has opened up the space of not judging myself and being totally okay with either staying at the most luxurious hotels and eating the most luxurious dinners or not. Right. And inviting people to join me with either situations and let them be whoever they are. And if they don't choose to go, where I'm going, that's okay too, because I'm not a judgment of myself and my money flow and what right. I can create. So I, we, like, I would love for that space to also permeate all of your guys' world where you don't have to judge yourself for having or not having. That's awesome. Amazing. Like your point of view creates your reality, right? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> awesome. Um, so, oh, there's Lale. She's muted. That's so funny, Susanna, because you know, that whole, your point of view creates your reality that Dane talks about. Like, I remember hearing it five years ago and it really was so funny. I'm like, yeah, what you think you create. That, that was my motto in life. I used to always say, Hey, whenever you're saying that you're thinking that you're going to create it, but it <laughs> is as easy as your point of view could be this one molecule that all you have to do is change it. Way too easy. 180 <laughs> degrees. 180 degrees, that one molecule. And, and today, you can choose this. One second later, you could choose something different. And it's, I know, like you're saying, it's so easy. But everywhere we've made it difficult. And everywhere we've made it that it's this big thing instead of this one molecule. Like truly what else is possible. Yeah. So what you're saying, Lale, is that happiness and money are just a choice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, you know, 
I want to ask you guys another question, um, really specific to the advanced workbook. Um, the question about, you know, if you had a hundred million dollars that was replenished at the beginning of every year, what would you choose? Um, that question has definitely changed my life because it, at first it was a beyond and then through time and asking the question and getting present, I am really clear on what I would create with that now. Um, but could you guys talk a little bit more about what that question is and how it can change things for people? Well, like for me, it was the, the just getting the energy of that question first, you know, because you, we're so used to going into how this will look like and finding answers and going into exactly, oh, I'm going to have a house, I'm going to have a private chat or whatever, you know, and, and that's cool, you know, and for me, that question opened up that energy of, wow, how, where did I limit my willingness to receive? Like how much, like how many points of view did I have about what's possible with money and what's not possible with money and what I can receive and what I can't receive. And so that hundred, I'm so bad with numbers, but hundred, was it hundred million? Hundred million. Hundred million <laughs> euros, dollars, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's like, like, wow, like, oh, I, that made me amp up my ask, you know, like be willing to ask bigger than I thought I could ask. That was the biggest thing for me in that. Because, you know, when you go and, like, what have you decided you can ask for? Mm, let's say, I don't know, 10,000 euros or dollars or whatever, and then get the energy of that. And then you get 10 million. You're like, wow, that's a bigger space. Like, okay, so what would I have to be willing to be? To be. To be, to be, to be, to be, 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 to receive that. And then actualize this in whatever way creates the future that I desire. So, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What I noticed with this question that I have asked myself and others to play with is that most of us start realizing we actually have points of view about money. And with that question, the space that opens up, it invites you to possibility of recognizing that it's just the choice that actually creates it's not the money because if money was not part of your equation if you had a hundred million dollars replenished every year you pro the first things that come up in people's worlds are the very basic um, survival things and making it enhancing their lives most of the time and then after asking that question over and over again it gets into creating greater for the future of the planet creating greater for the future of the earth but first what comes up is the basics and when people realize that their basics are covered and their basics have always been covered and their survival has always been taken care of and now they can thrive and it's just a choice and that choice will open up a space of receiving hundred million dollars every year that changes people's worlds over and over again yeah absolutely Awesome. Thank you guys. Um, and you know, one of the things that I wanted to bring up about the advanced workbook too is how much of a mind fuck going through it is. <laughs> I mean, like if you, if you go through this for the first time and you don't get dizzy or get fried at, at some point, then you are some sort of idiot savant because <laughs> it's taking every bit of unconsciousness that you have with regards to money and it's like like rearranging it and moving it and it's like and the level of clarity that you get after you read I, I think you have to, yeah, you gotta read it a few times um many times every time you get more and more clarity and ease and receiving um but I just I just think it's really amazing how much of a mind fuck it is and how direct and mm. intense the questions in the workbook are and the the path to no conclusion and the path to possibilities that the book and its questions are designed to take you on. Um, and where do you get that directness with money in the world? Right. I mean, 
There's so many, there are so many um, teachings about money out there, but the directness that you mentioned, absolutely. And where do you get the absolute, like the pragmatic tools to really, to really create a monetary reality that works for you? Right. Uh, rather than just having money be this, oh my God, I should have it. And I don't know, but I don't have it. So I just feel bad. And, and then the right, you know, you should do the right things to get there. But there's no right or wrong in this. There's just get rid of your point of views, point of view, points of view. That's the correct English. <laughs> and, <laughs> And then this, like, it's a workbook. So like, be willing to work at getting rid of your points of view with ease. And then it's really, it's just, it's pragmatic. It works. Uh, so that's what I love about the book. Yeah. Well, what I love about the book, like you said, one, it's pragmatic. It, it's ease. I mean, it just pretty much says here, <laughs> here I am. Choose. <laughs> Do me. Your choice. <laughs> yeah, whatever, you know. Work me. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, but the questions are not complex. And what I love once again with the access tools is how much it also allows you to know how much of what you're functioning is yours mm -hmm. versus everything you picked up along the way. Right. And you know, that differentiator, like I've worked with so many people around money and, and what I love is when they realize they're like, wait a second, that's not even my problem. Like I actually function this way. <laughs> and, 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 and it's like these moments when I'm not being me, I don't trust me. I'm trying to do it like everybody else that I get all, you know? And so like you said, it's about taking you out of your head and truly empowering you to know what you know. <laughs> and then the clearings get rid of the garbage <laughs> of the ways we've taken everyone else's point of view and entangled it into our point of view. Mm -hmm. And so, like you said, like Daria said earlier, like the magic of this is not a one-time workbook. Every time there is a word spoken, there's the energy shared, there's the reading of it, doing the exercises, you actually allow you to go to a whole new level that maybe you didn't even know was ever possible and just keeps taking you even more and more and more and more into this whole new world of possibilities. So I don't know, I'm super excited about this series and what is truly possible on the planet with people to choose with their financial realities, including with cash and money, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know what you just said reminded me of something that this book also is magic with that changes when there are different types of people around you. Yeah. So when everybody who is around you and you're reading that book with them, all their points of view, all their worlds, all their spaces trigger your points of view and your space, and it becomes a molecular chemical reaction, basically. <laughs> it changes the world. It's so amazing. Mm. It does. Yeah. Um, I remember a few years ago, we, uh, a few facilitators did the, reg like the regular How to Become Money workbook, and it was really interesting how different the book looked and was and felt and what it changed and how much bigger the change was when we were all doing it together, hundreds of people, rather than just me sitting in my room doing it by myself. Um, that obviously works really well too, but this is, it just explodes when with each person who's willing to actually have consciousness in this area and do the workbook. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for, for taking some time to get together with me and uh, talk about this class that's coming up. Um, and the prerequisites for this class, um, I've had a lot of people asking me about that, um, are a little different than the advanced money workbook that Gary did a couple years ago. Um, this one doesn't have foundation as a prerequisite. So anyone's welcome to um, join as long as they've read the original money workbook five times because reading the original money workbook five times um, gives you a space and a place 
um, that's going to be really different and give you a far stronger footing and foundation off of which to go through the advanced money workbook. So um, five times for the original. And then, see, Susanna's got it. <laughs> and um, I also had questions about can I, uh, if I'm a CF, can I facilitate the advanced how to become money workbook? Um, is this a prerequisite for that? And the answer is no. So I just wanted to let everybody know that um, right up front. Um, so thank you guys. Oh, did you have something, Lale? Yeah, but Julia, can you give a little bit more? So the yeah. original class that Gary did takes it to a whole other level. And so if you take that class, yes, after that, and you are a certified facilitator, you can um, get the drop down for it, but this is a special class that we're actually creating and it's a little bit different and obviously being facilitated by seven of us not just Gary So what's possible after this is a little bit different. So just wanted to make sure people were aware. Cool. Thank you That was extrapolation much needed um, Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being here and thank you everybody who's um, listening to this out in the world um, what are the greatest possibilities available for all of us and, and what magic lies here um, with this book and everything that it can bring to your life. So thank you guys. Come so join much. us. Come have some fun. <laughs> Partay. <laughs> Partay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.